shocking text messages from the Trinity University sophomore who died in the company of her boyfriend, showing that she feared he would kill her. Those messages given to the jury at Kaylee Mandati's murder trial and giving a clear understanding of how unhealthy her relationship may have been with the man on trial. Eric Hernandez with a string of additional text messages that may end up playing a central role in the case against Mark Howerton. Dozens of text messages between Mark Howerton and Kaylee Mandati, days leading up to her murder shown in court today. Mandati died in October 2017 from what a medical examiner ruled was blunt force trauma to the head. Howerton showed up to a Ludling hospital with an unconscious Mandati semi-nude and not breathing. She would die from her injuries two days later. Text messages showed Howerton pleading with Mandati to talk to him and to stop ignoring him. In one exchange, Mandati texted, I need some space. Howerton responded, thanks for making me depressed. I'm killing myself. Howerton's text messages continued demanding Mandati meet him outside her dorm or he was going to commit suicide. Prosecutors hoping the text messages would show the jury how Mandati was trying to get out of the relationship. But one particular text exchange between Mandati and her ex-boyfriend, Jet Bircham, made it clear that she feared for her life. She texted Bircham, how do I break up with Mark? I'm so scared. If I get killed, which is honestly probable, no, I love you. Because of the holiday testimony in this case won't resume until Tuesday morning. If he is found guilty, Howerton is facing up to life in prison. At the Kalina Reeves Justice Center, Erica Hernandez, Case at 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching Case at.